Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. This is Chetan and this is a comparison of two very good smartphones in the mid-range category, both from the same brand. Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi A1. These two phones, uh, they are quite different with what they offer internally because not just the processor is different, but also the entire interface is different. Xiaomi for the first time had introduced Mi A1 with the Android 1 project, that's the stock Android. Usually you don't see that brand doing anything apart from what they do with the MIUI. But then this was a different step. And for the first time in India that was a dual camera setup from the company and that was a very good step because the portrait shots came out to be brilliant. But then finally what we see is this Redmi Note 5 Pro coming with a design that is similar to what you see on the Apple iPhone 10. but then there's a dual lens camera setup even on this smartphone. So that is something very interesting here. But then how do these two phones differ with the rear camera? That is what we have been testing and I've been trying out uh, both the cameras for quite some time and here's the final conclusion. Firstly to begin with even the specifications of the two cameras are quite different. One advantage that the Mi A1 would hold here over the Redmi Note 5 Pro is the presence of a telephoto lens. The secondary camera has a telephoto lens for the lossless zooming of up to 2x. That is not offered on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But if you talk about the regular captures, for those who don't always want to zoom in, I've seen that the colors, even the shadows uh, appear to be lesser and the colors are more punchier and better on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Even in low light, it was a bit of a little difference but then in the end the Redmi Note 5 Pro seemed to be a better one. When we talk about the portrait shots, not a lot of them I have tried, but in low light, it was almost at the same levels on both the phones. So that is a commendable job again because Mi A1 was said to have one of the best portraits in its price range, but the Redmi Note 5 Pro as well is doing a wonderful job there. The presence of EIS, electronic image stabilization is given only to the Redmi Note 5 Pro up to 1080p videos and EIS does help. I have taken a couple of videos here, one of them I am putting up in this video so you can see how the difference is. So this is a quick uh, video recording that I'm trying out on both the phones, the Redmi Note 5 Pro as well as the Xiaomi Mi A1. And if you notice uh, on the video as well, uh, because of the electronic image stabilization that's EIS included on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, although I'm walking you don't see that uh, there's a lot of shakes. It's not as good as the OIS but then the Xiaomi Mi A1 doesn't have either of them. But in the end if, we, if you are checking these pictures that I'm talking about, You'll see that sometimes the Mi A1 also does a good job but in the end the captures seem more natural, seem more better on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So this was the comparison of uh, the rear cameras of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro as well as the Xiaomi Mi A1. Interestingly both the phones are priced at Rs 14,000 for the same 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. But then the processor differs here, it's Snapdragon 625 on the Xiaomi Mi A1 but then it's Snapdragon 636 for the first time on any smartphone on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So the performance actually is very better. The benchmarks also showed better results. But in the end, the camera quality also changes because of that. Because the ISP is different and the way the pictures are optimized also differ in the end. So this was the camera comparison of the Xiaomi Mi A1 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions about these two phones, the cameras in particular or anything else, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thank you for watching.